The traditional marriage ceremony of the ebony black and beautiful daughter of Senate President David Mark, Monica Mark, who has a very striking resemblance with him to Tim Cox, a British citizen from the United Kingdom, virtually turned Senator David Mark's country home in Otrupo Benue State into a center of attraction for members of the National Assembly, mostly from the Senate and the House of Representatives, who registered a huge presence at the event. Also in attendance were ministers, governor of Edo State, Comrade Adams Oshomole, the deputy governors of Bayasa and Benu States, retired Rear Admiral John Jonah and Mr. Steve Lawani, as well as past and present public office holders and friends of both families across the Atlantic. The groom's family, the Cox from the United Kingdom, with parents of the groom in attendance, who turned out in richly embroidered traditional attires, looked very resplendent. This is complemented by a large retinue of people from Bayelsa State, the home place of the mother of the bride, Mrs. Victoria Prey Mark, at the head of which was the former governor of Rivo State, Chief Rufus Ada George, who is the Perepeleba of Okrika land in Rivo State. It's common knowledge that when it comes to marriage with regards to his children, Senator David Mark has a most cosmopolitan disposition towards this. And this is why most of his children, both male and female, marry across the geopolitical divides of Nigeria. Therefore, that Monica Mark Souter, Tim Cox, come from the United Kingdom, should be the most natural progression to follow, as the Senate President himself, as a world personality, seeks to enhance the frontiers of harmony and unity among peoples of different races of the world through the sacred institution of marriage. President Goodluck Jonathan, who is on holy pilgrimage to Jerusalem at the time of the wedding, was ably represented by the Minister of Labor and Productivity, Chief Emeka Wogo. While a very close friend of Senator David Mark, Senator Jonathan Tunde Ogbeha, a very close friend of the Senate President, was the chairman of the traditional marriage between Monica Mark and Tim Cox. It was under the traditional supervision of the monarch of Otrupo land, the Ochio Tupo, Odu Chief John Emonye. With the dowry prize, the colonels, drinks, and the rest in place, and members of both families, led by Senator David Mark and his in laws, set for the grand celebration, the event began with an opening prayer delivered by a son of the soil and former minister, Dr. Jerry Agada. The chairman's remarks followed immediately. In it, Senator Tunde Ogbeha welcomed all warmly to Otrupo land, especially the groom's family wishing everyone a very successful celebration. On behalf of the Mass family, I welcome all of you to this very unique occasion. It is unique in the sense that our in-laws may not understand what we are doing, but I'm sure at the end of the day, they will have a lot to talk about. And while we are here, I want you to forget some of the drinks you brought in this bag and tried the local Pamai. I know some of you have started doing it, but I do hope that you will enjoy this atmosphere, enjoy our cultural heritage and the hospitality of the people of Idoma land. You are welcome. In what looked like a well orchestrated bargaining session between the brides and grooms' families over the correct bride price to pay, Strictly under the direction and supervision of the monarch of Otrupo land, Ochi Otrupo Odu Chief John Emonye, that aspect of the traditional marriage ceremony is the most interesting one because it brings out that angle of respect from the groom's family to the family of the bride. All the groom's family needs to do to bring the bride price down, so to speak, is for them to prostrate and beg in unison to show their obeisance and respect to their bride. <laughs> At the end of the day, the father of the bride, Senator David Mark, to demonstrate to his in-laws who are from the United Kingdom that we in Nigeria cherish relationship and love more than money, the beautiful bride, Monica Mark, was a journalist in the United Kingdom was handed over to her handsome 37-year-old husband, 
Tim Cox, who is also a journalist with the Reuters News Agency in the United Kingdom. We are all very happy that uh, you are married from our family today and hope that uh, this family truly uh, gives you their daughter uh, to consummate what marriage represents. And that it is our hope that uh, until death do you part, you will be able to live together in peace and harmony. So this is your work. The proceeding was blessed in the traditional way by the Ochi Otubo, His Royal Majesty Odu Chief, Dr. John Emonia. The couple, Monica Mark and Tim Cox, met in Abidjan, the Ivorian capital, in 2009 at a party, and that began the process that led to their marriage, which had earlier taken place in the United Kingdom. They now decided to cap it with the traditional aspect. Indeed, as someone who attaches great importance to tradition, Senator David Mark, who is a bona fide and illustrious son of a Tropo land and holder of one of the most prestigious titles of Idoma land in Benue State, has always given a pride of place to the traditional aspect of marriages of all his children, which are usually celebrated with pomp and glee in his Otropo country home. It is hoped that before too long, Otropo will become the capital of Upper State, a development which Senator David Mark and other illustrious Idoma indigents will be very delighted about once the National Assembly, of which Senator David Mark is chairman, gives its nod for the creation of new states in the country. Highlights of the very interesting traditional marriage ceremony between Monica Mark and Tim Cox from the United Kingdom included the grand entry of the Friends of the Bride, who turned out in very rich Niger Delta attires in solidarity with the dress code of the bride's maternal home place by our state, regarded as the glory of all lands and headquarters of the Ijo nation. This also means that Senator David Mark is a respected in-law to the President, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, and all Bielsons. The event featured a rich mixture of the cultural dances of the people of Otropo land and Bielsa state, while the Cox family, Senator David Mark's in-laws, soaked in every base of the action with a lot of interest as they got acquainted with Nigerian culture at very close quarters. In their separate goodwill messages, beginning with President Goodluck Jonathan, represented by the Minister of Labor and Productivity, Chief Emeka Wogo, Senators Banabas Gebade and Lawan, the Deputy Governors of Bayelsa and Benue States, among others, they all eulogize the bridge-building efforts and disposition of the Senate President, which has now gone intercontinental, helping to boost global harmony in its wake. They all prayed for the success of the marriage. In Benue State, this gentleman has set the record of unity. This is because I believe he today leads a family that can easily be de described as the happiest family in Benue State, in North Nigeria. Nobody knows the secret, but I'm yet to see one single person who calls, who, who answers the name Mark that does not smile at every minute that you see them. The presence of members of the National Assembly here is a complete and very obvious testimony that we feel we belong to this Mark family. And of course, I believe personally that the kind of leadership provided in the National Assembly, particularly in the Senate, is the kind of leadership that will deliver Nigeria, make every part and parcel of Nigeria feel the same. We are here from different parts of the country, from various political parties, and we feel one and the same thing. We are here in our numbers because we are interested in our daughter. We are interested in making sure that she is supported to the very last, and above all, we are assured that you see the president is already partially by us. I've also come to meet some of my mates here, my professional mates in the military, 
I'm very glad we unite with them today. But all I can say is to wish the couple all that they wish themselves. We have got very, very tall mark set for you. Coming from the family of the senior president means a very great challenge to you in both conducts as well as performance in the public. This is no more of thanks, but I want to thank every one of you seated here who have graced this occasion in the way that you have done. To the members of the National Assembly, I'd like to thank you for the wonderful support that you've given the, the chairman, that you've always given to your chairman, our boss, distinguished senator, Mark. I guess I must also say it is also a reflection of the manner that he has led you. The couple spoke to the Bisho Latila show about how they got it together and their future dreams. We met in uh, Abidjan, in Ivory Coast, in 2009, um, and it was at a barbecue you were having, wasn't it? I, I think yeah, in, in, in your flat, and uh, so that's how we got to know each other. And in fact, we didn't uh, come to Nigeria until uh, two years after we had already been going out. Well. I thought he seemed like Nigerian man because he talked a lot and very loudly and he was very confident, so, uh, but I liked him as soon as I saw him. It's hearty congratulations to Senate President David Mark, the buyers and mother of the bride, Mrs. Victoria Prey Mark, on the success of this intercontinental marriage, which we pray will bring forth very good children who will be worthy assets to the family. One central thing in making a choice is the pedigree. Just to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, the training and qualities. You know, women of good virtue and men of good ethical standard. You know, attract each other. So once you have a good ethical background, you know, value for life, value for honesty, value for you know hard work, you will always get uh, you know get attracted to. Uh, ladies of, of uh, high, uh, high, uh, high virtues and good qualities. So I will advise David them to be their time and at the same time take everything into prayer.